Hello everyone and welcome back to the Dreamy Storytellers. I love today's book. It's about how a girl called Katie steps back into the time, to the world of the dinosaurs, where she helps Hadrosaurus find his family. And she has a picnic with a Triceratops. But what will she feed a very hungry Tyrannosaurus Rex? Let's find out as I read to you Katie and the Dinosaurs by James Mayhew. Come and look, Grandma. Come and see the dinosaurs, said Katie. Katie loved the Natural History Museum and she wanted to show her grandma everything. They're just a load of old bones, said Grandma. Well, you're really old, said Katie. There must have been dinosaurs alive when you were little. I'm not that old, snorted Grandma, looking for somewhere to sit down. They found a seat next to a skeleton of a very fierce looking dinosaur. Why don't you go and look at your horrible dinosaurs while I have 40 winks, said Grandma. They're not horrible, sniffed Katie, but I do wish they weren't just skeletons. And she skipped off on her own, carrying a picnic lunch with her, just in case she got hungry. Katie saw all sorts of dinosaurs. Some had spikes, others had horns or wings or long, long tails. She closed her eyes and tried to imagine what they were like when they were alive. She thought they must have been frightening with their sharp teeth and claws. Next to one of the dinosaurs was a corridor. Katie set off down it to make sure she hadn't missed anything worth seeing. The corridor was long and dark and there was no one in sight. Katie began to feel scared. She looked for a way out sign but there didn't seem to be one. She was lost. Now what do I do? said Katie crossly. She came to a big door with a notice on it that said absolutely no admittance whatsoever. I'll just take a quick look said Katie and she opened the door and stepped through. The door led outside and there in front of her was a dinosaur. It was no bigger than Katie but it was a real life one. Hello, said Katie. Who are you? Hadrosaurus, said the dinosaur. Who are you? I'm Katie, said Katie, and I think I'm lost. I'm lost too, said Hadrosaurus. I was chased by a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Isn't that the really fierce dinosaur? asked Katie. That's right, said Hadrosaurus. Now I don't know how to get home. Don't worry, said Katie. I'll be able to see where we are from the top of this hill. And she clambered up a steep slope. This isn't a hill, said Hadrosaurus, scrambling up behind her. <gasps> Katie gasped. Oh, it's an Aptosaurus. She was very high up and she could see for miles. Now show me where you live, said Katie. 
I think it's somewhere over there, along the river bank, said Hadrosaurus. Katie looked across the river. What are those funny looking birds? she asked. Pterosaurs, said Hadrosaurus. Watch out! One of the pterosaurs spotted Katie's yellow scarf. It swooped towards her, and before Katie could duck, it snatched the scarf from her. Hey, that's mine! Bring it back! yelled Katie. But the pterosaur flew far away. The Aptosaurus started moving. She was getting too fed up with those noisy creatures jumping up on her back. The Aptosaurus lumbered down into the river for a nice cool bath. She was so huge that Katie and Hadrosaurus just hung on and hardly got wet at all. Katie looked across the water. All sorts of strange creatures were swimming there. She recognised some of them from the museum. Before long, the Aptosaurus reached the edge of the water. Let's go, said Katie, followed by Hadrosaurus. She slipped down the Aptosaurus's tail and they landed in a giggling heap on the ground. Which way now? said Katie. Into the jungle, said Hadrosaurus. The jungle was hot and sticky. Through the trees, Katie could see a herd of enormous dinosaurs. What on earth are those? said Katie. I don't like the look of them. Only Stegosaurs, said Hadrosaurus. They won't hurt us. Are you sure? said Katie as one of the Stegosaurs licked his lips. Oh yes, they only eat plants, said Hadrosaurus. So Katie gave them some grass and they went on through the jungle. Suddenly, Hadrosaurus let out a squeal. There was his family. They hugged him and they hugged Katie too for bringing him home. I hope you're not going to eat me, worried Katie. Of course not, said Hadrosaurus. We're plant eaters too. That reminded Katie that she hadn't eaten her lunch yet. She was feeling quite hungry by now, but she politely shared her cucumber sandwiches and chocolate biscuits. She saved her meat pie for later. Plant-eating dinosaurs from far and wide picked up the smell of Katie's sandwiches and padded across the rocks toward her. The dinosaurs shook some strange looking fruits out of the trees and they ate until they were full. It was the best picnic Katie had ever had. Suddenly another dinosaur crashed out of the jungle. It was Tyrannosaurus Rex. He had been following Katie and Hadrosaurus. He grunted and growled and ground his teeth and swished his long tail and stamped his scaly feet. He was hungry. He didn't want cucumber sandwiches or chocolate biscuits. He wanted meat. He wanted Katie. Quick, run for your life, said Hadrosaurus. Tyrannosaurus Rex thundered after Katie and the other dinosaurs as they ran through the jungle towards the river. Katie was out of breath, 
but she kept on running. At last, she could see the museum ahead of her. If only she had stayed safely inside. Then she remembered the meat pie. She tore open her lunchbox and threw a piece at the Tyrannosaurus Rex. The Tyrannosaurus stopped in its tracks. He sniffed the piece of pie. He ate it up. He liked it so much that Katie threw him the rest, even though she had been saving it for herself. And the Tyrannosaurus Rex padded off into the jungle, clutching Katie's lunchbox. Phew, that was close, said Katie. It was getting late now, so Katie turned to say goodbye to Hadrosaurus. I do wish you could come home with me, said Katie. But Grandma will only scream and make a fuss. I'm happy here with my family anyway, said Hadrosaurus. He gave Katie a lick. Thank you for helping me find them. Blech, sputtered Katie, as dinosaurs have very sloppy tongues. Then she went back through the museum door. This time, Katie easily found her way back to Grandma who was waiting where she had left her. Where on earth have you been? asked Grandma. I've seen all kinds of dinosaurs, said Katie. Why don't you come and have a look too? All right, said Grandma. Where do we start? This way, said Katie, taking her hand. Off they went. I do hope you enjoyed the story because I enjoyed reading it to you so much. Good night. Bye bye.